So the next day he calls me, he says that, that your car has been a major accident before. So my name is Fazan. I am from Kashmir, India. And uh, I have been in UAE for three years now. So starting, uh, I think when I first uh, started to uh, learn like to drive the car properly, I think I was in 11th class. I had a wagon, Maruti Suzuki Wagoner at that time. So my basically the, the thing with the car, it was for my bro brother basically. So he had done some uh, modification, you know the small, small modifications like the wheels, alloys, uh, the tinting, the, mostly the stereo system, you know, the big bear, uh, woofer and everything. So we had uh, a Maruti Suzuki Wagoner at that time. Uh, my driver, basically we had a driver at that time, he taught me how to drive it. And it started from there. As soon as uh, learned how to drive the car, uh, the first car I drove was a Tata Safari. You know, you have that adrenaline rush of, oh, I'll drive fast. I mean, that we, were, we were in the village. You know, the village, they have a small roads and everything. So I took my two sisters with me, and we had a driver as well. So I told him, okay, let me just drive the car. I drove it that fast. To be honest, my eldest sister, she had BP went down. She fell from the car. My second sister, she had something with the stomach and from the next day onwards, uh, there used to be a person from the elder one from the home to sit in the car. <laughs> and that's, the, that's the first thing that started, that's the first thing. And in the evening as well, when I was, uh, when I reached home at the same time in the evening, people came to the house, oh, we saw, we saw your son driving the car, how was he driving the car, he's not driving it properly and everything. You know, the thing in India, it's like, then after that, uh, in the school day, it was in 11, 12, after my 12th was completed, I went to Delhi for the further study. So after my brother came into Delhi, uh, my father sent the wagon out the first time there. In Delhi, it felt like, oh, what's this car? This is not good. And uh, you know, you see a lot of cars in Delhi. In Kashmir, it's like, okay. So we got a Suzuki Swift, uh, but that too in diesel. Because being from middle class time, you think, oh, we need to have a mileage. We need to have a good mileage. And at that time, the diesel was cheap. It was not that, uh, you know, uh, that expensive. So we got a Suzuki Swift, uh, I drove it, I think first two, three months uh, we drove it like a normal Swift. Then you have that thing to show the car in the place. So we told, uh, motivated my father, okay, let's take the car to uh, Kashmir. So I took the car to Kashmir uh, and uh, when I took the car to Kashmir, we took it out to the village. There were some elections going on and something. So I think before elections, I had an accident in a new car. It was like I was driving in the night and you know the, the roads are that lit. But the roads were fine, it's not that lit. So I had an accident with a water tanker, the new car. It's just three, four months old. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, nothing happened but the car was total. Like, it's like the front end was gone. The tires were bent, the brakes were gone, the engine almost half of it. But somehow we got it fixed. And after that, my father told me, I had told you not to bring the car here. I told you not to bring the car here. And then, Alhamdulillah, I had to persuade him again, okay, give us the car back to Delhi. Because, you know, in Delhi, if you have a car once, then you don't have a car, it's like, what am I doing here? There's a place, Chhatarpur. In there, they do the wrapping and everything. So, I just motivated my brother, okay, let's just do something on the car. Let's just get something done. So, we took the car there. And we were just... Uh, checking the places where we can get it. Here we met one guy, pro cars. We got it wrapped into camouflage. I have this thing. I have this thing with me. If I do something on the car and I'll keep it for one week or two weeks maximum. After two weeks, I'm like, no, this is not good. Let me, let me get something else. That's what happens. That's what still happens with me right now. But uh, we kept that wrap, wrap for, I think, three, three days? Three days, yes, three days. We gave him the money and everything. Then I went to the guy again. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Give me something else. But I couldn't tell that to my brother because we had already paid. So what I told him, I, I'll give you money from my own pocket. Don't tell it to my brother. I'll tell him that you, are, you have done it for free. So what we did is we wrapped the whole car in blue chrome. We wrapped the alloys and got it done. Took the car back to Kashmir. And then again, first we, we have another car at home. My father had got a car, an SUV. My brother is basically into SUVs. So he likes driving all the SUVs and everything. I mostly like the hatchbacks because hatchbacks are agile and everything. And you can just find parking space and park them and get it done. And they are most, 
you know that that you get the rush from the mostly from my diesel if you have a turbo like the turbo comes at 2000 rpm and then you're like okay i told him let's just get it here we'll just get the ppf done we will not do anything else i just first i just at least let him get it come here and then i will change it so he somehow persuaded my father and then we got the big car at in delhi so what happened is again we went to the same person oh, we need some ppf done on it and uh, i was like oh let's just see the options here here are many wraps you see this might do look good this might look good this might look good where well, it was in cream color with black and everything so the first thing we do uh, did it on was we did a matte black wrap on it the accents we painted them into orange like everything so my father didn't know about it we got it done and everything paid money and everything my father came after one week and started scolding what have you done to this car and all that i told my mother it's all right i'll take all this money but <laughs> But being the elder brother in the house, you're like, okay, he gets the most beating out of everything. So then somehow we persuaded our father, it's fine, we'll change it after some time and everything. Uh, didn't change it. We just kept it like that. We just removed the, we had a white strip on it. You know, the racing stripes, the white one. Uh, so we just removed that. We said, okay, we'll just keep it into black. It's fine, nothing will happen. So we just kept that into that and send the guard back to Kashmir because my father was going to send it back. We need it here. So we again got the Swift small one back into Delhi. Uh, for the Swift, then I was thinking, what should I do next? So I again went into, there's a place in Connaught place where they put the exhausts. So I got the, just the pipe, just the pipe. We just removed the catalytic converter from the back, installed the pipe. <laughs> so that's it, it. That's what we did with it. We just did the exhaust, the tires, wheels, and the wrapping. Then uh, uh, I came to Dubai, Dubai after that. I think after uh, seven months, I got my license. So my colleague told me, this my friend, he told me, let's go to Rasulpur, let's just give a round of it. So we were looking for everything, we saw a Golf GTI. I didn't know much about Golf GTI at that time. I just knew about muscle cars. I just knew about Mustang because I've seen it in India, everything, because you get that rush, because there's only one uh, Mustang in Kashmir. And it just goes, it goes like, it's a V8, it's like too loud. Other cars are the normal cars, they are just the Swift, uh, only, the, only the budget cars that you have. We were just making a round of it, for whole day we were there, checking the cars. Then somehow we just saw one car, it was a new, like it was Golf GTI Mark 7.58. The car was sitting on the side, uh, we just saw the dashboard of it, it's a new digital dashboard. I was like, oh, that's, that's something else, that's something that I haven't seen before. So we spoke with the person, we told him that, about this car. He said that this car is a minor accident. That there's a fender damage or something on it. I can give it to you for this much price. And we negotiated a little bit and got the car. So as we got the car, there were some coolant issues in it. So I don't know, maybe there was some accidental problem or what. That's that's the first thing. So I, what I did is, in first of all, after one week, I went to Abu Dhabi to meet my relatives there. I was just going off showing them the car. See, this is the car. I got a coolant level low. The car is heating up. Like literally, I was like, what the fuck? This, I just, I just brought car one week, one week ago, and it's this. I called the guy again, he said, okay, let me check, let's do one thing, I'll send a recovery there and uh, send it to Dubai. He got it back to Dubai, fixed the hose, he was saying that there's some coolant leak in it, and fixed the hose and everything. Got the car back next day. As I was growing, there was some sound coming from the right side of the tire. So he kept the car at the same for the one day again. The next day he gave me the car. He said there was some part to be changed. We changed the part. For the, on the car, I just got the carbon fiber spoiler. I got the roof wrapped in black, gloss black because it's a panel. So the next day he calls me. He says that that your car has been a major accident before. From the look of the white, it doesn't look good. I got carbon fiber mirror caps. I got those from eBay. I was just looking here and there and I said, okay, let me just get it. So I got those from it. And I changed the alloy, that's it. There was some noise coming from the car on the right side. And the service was also due, so I went to the uh, Alna Buddha to get it serviced. He said the car is under warranty. So I went there, the service was free, and I told him there is some noise coming from the right side of the car. He said, okay, let's get it checked. So the next day he calls me, he says that, that your car has been a major accident before. I went to Alna Buddha. I told him that I am looking for a new hatchback. There was one guy, he was like, okay, let's just test drive this golf car. Let's test drive it. He took me to a parking lot, put the car in a stability control into sport, sport mode, brake, floor. I was like, as soon as we lift the brake off, my head goes like in the back. My colleague is in the back. My colleague, she was like, oh, fudge, what's this? So it was like that. At that moment, I was like, I'm getting this car. I should get this car. 
So I told him, I'm dropping my car right now. Check it out. Give me this car.